everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I created this cute little scented puffy heart and I'm going to use the same idea to create a, another bonus craft for you so keep watching and enjoy I have the supplies here that I'm going to be using to make my little puffy hearts so here I have some assortment of fabrics they're all 100% cotton I think this is the only exception but these are 100% cotton so I do recommend that you use that and just choose whatever colors or patterns you want to use I also have some ribbons here they don't have to be for Valentine's they can be any type of ribbon but I do recommend that they be about a half inch uh, wide or maybe a little bit smaller I also have some uh, polyfill here you can use cotton balls if you don't have this or you know it's cheaper just to get some cotton balls at the Dollar Tree or you could also use some of this uh, fiber fill that is maybe in a throw pillow that you're no longer using. I'm going to use a sheet of paper to create my heart pattern. I need to draw it on there or I can use uh, something like this little wooden shape here as a template so I'm just going to use that to trace around a heart and then cut it out for my pattern. Some scissors. I'm also going to be using some pins. I'm going to use my glue gun and then one thing that I don't have pictured here is my sewing machine but if you prefer to do this by hand then you're going to need some thread and if you want to use like an uh, embroidery thread that would be perfect. I also have uh, something to give it some scent. You can use some uh, essential oils. I don't happen to have essential oils but I'm just grabbing this as an example of what you can do to give them a little scent if you wanted to do that. Okay so let's get to crafting. All right, so what I have here is a sheet of paper and my little template so I can go ahead and trace around it and make that heart shape that I can just cut out or I could fold it in half and just using a regular pencil. You don't have to use this type of pencil only if you're going to mark on the fabric and just draw out, you know, half of a heart shape. And some of you might just be able to just go ahead and just cut it out without having to trace anything. So, you know, if you remember doing this as a kid. Just cut out your little heart shape. Now I already had one done before. This is it and I've already used it and I really like the size. Alright so here I have my fabric and you have two options. You can take an end of the fabric and fold it down and just fold it down enough where your little heart will fit right there and then you can take the uh, uh, fabric pencil that will erase you know the one that I told you you can use on fabric and you can trace around it Okay, that's one choice and you can use that if you don't have this or you can just use a regular pencil. Then you can go ahead and just pin it down, which is what I'm going to do. And then of course you're going to take your scissors and cut around it. But what I did, let me start at one end, you don't see that right now. But I'm coming up here where I can cut off this whole strip off of here. Alright? So then what I can do is I can then fold this over itself. So enough of the heart fits and then fold it again and if that's not enough to go all the way then we can't cut another heart out of there but we can at least cut two of them right here. Okay so now I can just trim that off and then I go ahead and pin both of them and I want to pin it so I can make sure that I can cut around it. Okay so then what we do is when we take them, because I did put the right sides together, now I want to put the wrong sides together. And this is where you're going to sew it. And you're going to decide if you want to do it by hand or do it on the sewing machine. But before I do that, I do want to pin my pieces together because when you take something like this, it's curved and it's small and it's got some little tricky, you know, corners and such. You want to make sure that you pin your fabric because then it will move on you and you'll have something completely crooked so you don't want that okay so then we're going to sew and we're going to go in about a quarter inch in and we're going to sew but we're not going to start at the tip we're going to start somewhere about giving it about two inches of an opening and we're going to sew all the way around and then just end right here and leave that opening okay now you can do that on the sewing machine or you can do it by hand that is your choice and i saw a video uh, i think it was I, I want to say her name correctly, please forgive me. It's Carly Barlow 
crafts, I believe. Uh, and she did it with some pinking shears and it looked really pretty. And then she used some embroidery for, for, uh, thread, excuse me. She used some embroidery thread to sew around it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and use my sewing machine. I don't have any pinking shears to make this cute, but I have another little idea that I can do and uh, maybe you'll like it too. so I can remove the pins and I have my little opening right here let the kind of small but that's okay so now I'm going to take the stuffing and then I can use that scented uh, spray or essential oils and put some on here and then we're just going to stuff it Okay, now that our little heart has been stuffed, we can go ahead and finish this off. Now just imagine how cute that would look if it was done with a pinking shears or a cute little thread. Of course I used my sewing machine and I did use a white thread, which is what I'm going to use for all of them, just to contrast a little bit. And then I'm just going to push this around so that I can get it sort of even. You know the the fluffing or the stuffing that I put inside and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these ends here and just kind of rub them in my hands kind of crinkle it up a little bit and it kind of uh, it'll create some fraying as well so this is what I'm doing because I don't have some pinking shears or you could take some lace and hot glue it around the edges that would look really pretty maybe even some gathered lace sew it in there or you could just hot glue it on Okay, so I just want my little ends to be kind of frayed a little bit there. Okay. I don't know if you can tell. They're just a tiny bit frayed. You can pull on the little threads and make it even more frayed. That looks really pretty. We just want it to look worn. All right, so just make as many of these as you want to make. So let's go decorate them and see what else we can do with them. All right, so now that you've made all the little puffy hearts that you want to create, we can decorate them any which way we want. So I've got some ribbon here. And please excuse the uh, little background noise. That is my little fan. I woke up super early this morning and uh, drank my coffee. And I am hot because I had a nice big mug of hot coffee. Okay, so now I'm just taking the ribbon and I'm creating a little tiny bow. You can make your bow however you want, of course. Or just use some jute if you want to use that instead of uh, using some ribbon. There you go, or even some yarn. Yarn would be cute. All right, so now I'm just going to cut the little ends, little angles like that. And then we can hot glue them onto our little hearts. So there we go. And that looks super cute. Would be a nice little gift to give someone a little scented heart. Maybe they can put it in a drawer, scent up their items in their drawer. Or if you want, you can put a little loop on your little heart so they can hang it somewhere. I put the little loop first and then I put the little bow. So all I did was just take a short piece of ribbon and just did this like that, cut it, hot glue those two little pieces together, hot glue it down and then put the little heart on top of that. Super easy, super simple. So let's go on to a bonus idea. All right, so for my added ideas, I grabbed this heart-shaped uh, wire wreath from the Dollar Tree. You can use the round one or you can use a styrofoam shape. It doesn't have to be this exact item here. Okay, so I've also got some wider ribbons that I can use, and I grabbed all of these from the Dollar Tree. Look how cute they are. I like this one with a little truck logo on it, little hearts, and some gingham. 
And then I already had these here at home, some black uh, plaid and some pink. And these are from uh, Hobby Lobby. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to take some of those little puffy hearts that created and we're going to make a little wreath. All right, so I don't want to fail to mention that we are going to be needing some chenille stems or just some floor wire if that's what you have. And I'm going to use a little bit of this uh, jute. All right, so I'm going to start off by cutting out eight inch pieces of the ribbons. So this is just an example. Just cut it like that. And then you can take your chenille stem and I like to cut it into three pieces. So I have three, four inch pieces. And then you're just going to layer uh, whatever ribbons you want on top of each other. I'm probably going to put some more in this one, but this is just an example. So we're just going to grab them like that, put a chenille stem around them, and just twist it once just to hold them all together. You could take the ends before you actually uh, wire them. You don't have to do this at all, but I'm going to cut them, make a little dovetail like that. You could cut them straight or even at an angle. And you're just going to make as many little bundles as you want, okay? Alright, so I made two different bundles, three different ribbons here and then another three different ribbons. Of course, you can put four or five ribbons, whatever you want to do. Make them all the same, however you want to create them. But this is just an idea of what I have done. And I've made two different bundles, like I said. And right now I've done six of each, so I have 12 bundles. I'm going to put them to the side for now. I'm going to take my twine and just get a nice long piece and cut them. And we're going to make a little knot right here on the ends, just like that. And then we take the, the loop at the top and bring it in through here. And then just bring that knot through it and pull on it. And now you have a little string there where you can hang this. Now, if this is too long where you're going to hang it from, then make it shorter than what I did. But that gives you an idea of how you can then later hang this, okay? So now that we have that on there, I'm going to take my little bundles and start putting them on here. And then the other. And then I feel like I want to make maybe a bigger kind of bow and then put it right in the middle here. So I'll start off with these two on each side of my little, my little peak here in the top part of my heart. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, tie it right onto this part right here so it doesn't slide back and forth. And I'll do the same thing to the other one. And then bring it over so it's also catching this one that go, it's going across like that. Now I don't know how many I'm going to need right now, so I'm just going to cut a bunch of them. I'm just going to do a bunch of them and then I'll know um, how many I need to fill this whole thing up. How many of these little bundles? Actually, I like these things separate. Okay, and like I said, I'm going to make one big, one big one here to put right in the middle. But for now, I'm going to continue. So since I used uh, this design here with my little, I started off with this one, I'm going to now go with the other one, with the gingham. And put this one here. There we go. Okay, so once, once you get this going, just alternate, okay? Alternate the, the ribbons. Now, if you've done all your little bundles the same, then you don't have to worry about, you know, alternating them. Just keep adding. So there we go. That's what it's looking like. But you want to make them nice and tight so they don't uh, move around on you. And of course, once you push them together and you're filling it in, they won't move anymore, okay? But just try to get them as on as tight. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some space. Once I do a certain number of bundles, I'm going to leave some space for my little heart. Do some more little bundles. So I'm going to put three hearts on each side. So let me show you that little step next. Okay, so what you want to do next is you want to take one of your chenille stems and just cut it in half. So you have six inch pieces like that. And then just bend them into a little V. And the back of your heart, which can be either side, add some glue right in the middle, just like that, and then some glue on the top of the chenille stem. And you're going to want to let that dry. So leave it there for quite a while and let that dry. Okay, so now I'm going to take my little heart that has the chenille in the back and just bend it so it's going straight backwards like that. Don't try to, you know, tilt it forward because you might just peel off that glue. So bend the little chenille and then you can use that to tie on your little heart onto your wreaths. 
here let me remove this one because i feel like i want it right where this one is so i should just slide it down and i'll put it right in here then i'll grab the i'm grabbing the inner one and the middle one at the same time Okay, so now you can see how my little heart is between the little bows. So then I'm gonna put a red one and then a gray one. And then on this side, I'll do a red, a gray, and a red one because I did three grays and three reds. So that's just how I'm gonna alternate them. So that's completely up to you. Now, another idea would be to not make any of these little ribbon bundles and just make a ton of these little hearts, put the little chenille stem on it and just completely fill it. Now, I am gonna tell you that because we have a heart shape here, the heart shape of, the, of this wire uh, wreath might get lost with all of this on it so really and truly if you just find a round one that will be perfectly fine don't worry if you can't find this heart shaped one okay okay so i'm going to continue filling all this up and then i'll let you know how many of these bundles i ended up making so that you have an idea of how much will fit in the heart if you happen to find that of course you're going to probably have to make way more if you have a circle shape but there you go everybody i'm going to continue and then i'll show it to you once i get it all done Okay, so here's my heart shape. This is the top here and where I decided to leave a gap right there. And then I decided to remove the uh, what I had already put on here. And I decided to just start off with the hearts. And then I did three. And then another heart. And then three more uh, bundles of ribbon. A heart, three more bundles of ribbon. And then I did the same thing to the other side. So all together, because I used six here and six over here, that was the 12 that I first made. So I made another four to fill in this bottom part right here. So now I have this big space right here where I'm going to do a nice big puffy bow and put that right in there. But I think this looks absolutely cute. Look at that. Can you imagine it all filled up with little puffy hearts? If you had a styrofoam um, form, like a round styrofoam form, you could just hot glue the little hearts right onto it. Just kind of like maybe, you know, kind of fan them around, like put one on top of another and then one in the middle and then another two, one in the middle and then another two. That's my suggestion. But let's go ahead and make a nice big heart uh, ribbon <laughs> and big heart, a big bow up here for our finishing touch. All right, so here I have all the ribbons that I ended up using. Uh, if you notice in the beginning, I was using a pink or I had a pink gingham. I decided to switch it around for this uh, black and kind of an off-white stripe. Uh, the reason that I did that is because I didn't have any pink in my hearts, you know, the fabric that I used. I was going to use a pink, but I decided just to go with what I had with the gray and the red. And then I added these. Uh, so then I just substituted that one. And I, I absolutely love it because it goes so well with this center ribbon that has the little black truck on it. And then I added this one just to add another, you know, another tone to my ribbons rather than adding the small gingham one. Okay, enough of that. So we're just going to take some, some of these and I'm just going to put them on top of each other. So I'm going to do the big ones first and then just leave it like a little tail and you can do about eight inches and then squeeze it together. And I'm just going to do two loops. So about six inches, pinch, twist, and make another loop. That's about the same size. And look how much I have left over here. So that was perfectly done. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my chenille stem and wrap around them. Actually, I'm just gonna do half of the chenille stem. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that in half. Okay, so now I can take these ends and do a dovetail cut on them. And then I'll do the same with these guys and just do a smaller bow to put right in the middle of that one. And actually I'm not even gonna put any tails on this one. I'm just going to pinch it at the end, pinch them together, about leave it about an inch. Make your loop, pinch them, and then you're gonna twist. Always the right sides together and then do another loop like that. And you can do as many loops as you want. I think I'm just gonna do two. I'm gonna leave about an inch there. Trim that off. Tie that just once because I'm then going to get this thinner ribbon. Leave some little, little bit of a tail and then just make a bunch of little loops. Whatever's left, which is nothing. So I ended up getting three loops out of that. And I'll just Okay, so pretty much that's all I had left over of this ribbon. So that's what I'm going to use. 
So now I can go ahead and pop this one open. Take the uh, chenille off and I'll bring it around everything. And I gotta take this little piece of tape off the end here. I'm just gonna cause the whole thing to fray, but that's okay. All right, let me just go ahead and just trim off where the tape was and trim off this other bit here. Okay, so now I can take this smaller bow and separate these loops like that. Got the chenille stem, put it right on top of this other one, tie it around. Make sure you leave these other little ends loose because we're going to need those. And then we can separate these now also. Just bring them out. Okay, come on honey. There we go. And we're going to bring these tails downward. Okay, we'll shape it a little bit more once we have it tied down. So here we have these ends here. Bring our wreath over here. Make sure the tails are going down into the middle of our wreath here. And now we just tie this down. And I'm going to reach from behind and grab those chenille stems. I'm actually going to get one of the ends and tie it around that center heart, or, the, or if it's a circle, the center circle, the wire. And then the other end right here, tie it around the outer one. That's kind of been working a little bit better, so I've done all of them like that. Where I, instead of like just tying around around one little wire here, I tied it the ends on one, and then another one here, and then on the outer one on the inside, and then on the outer like that. So that's what I'm doing. If you understood that, great. If you didn't, I'm sorry. But there we go. So now we want to push some of these bow uh, loops behind the little heart, so they're not covering our heart. So we want to push them behind. We'll let this uh, smaller ones pop up like that in front. So we don't want to cover our little, our little hearts, okay? And then our tails, we can separate them as well, spread them out. This one decides that it wants to be up here, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Just spread them out. Make sure the pretty side is facing upward. And there we go. See what I meant by this, the heart shape will kind of get lost, so uh, you don't have to go through the trouble of trying to find the, um, the wire shape, you know, the heart shape because um, the heart will get, disappear. So just have some fun. And there we go, guys. This was my little bonus, which is a little bit longer than the first part. But I just wanted to show you how you can make those little puppy hearts. They're super easy. Uh, I've seen them uh, done in lots of videos in different ways, uh, but that's the easiest way I know. And if you can't sew it with a sewing machine, do it by hand. Uh, embellish them however you want. Uh, as you can see, I left my plane for my wreath because I was gonna put all these ribbons. So as you can see, most of them get hidden away. So what you could do also is just fill it up with all your little loops and then take your little hearts and then if you wanna hot glue them on top, you know, that way you can see them better than what I have here. So that is up to you. So there we go, everyone. I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below and let me know what you think of my little puppy heart and of my wreath <laughs> creation here. I think it's super colorful, I love it. So. Everyone, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, which is down there. It's a red button. I also have my little logo somewhere around right here. You can also hit that to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell that pops up right after you subscribe. So that'll notify you of when I upload up my videos. And I try to do that twice a week. All right, everyone, have a super week. Make sure you share on your social medias. And enjoy.